Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Sea Panda Crafts. If you are new here, welcome. Thanks so much for being here and checking out this video. Today I have my Halloween home tour that I'm super excited to share with you guys. If you've been with me for the past couple of months, you've probably heard me talk about or mention that I was doing The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. That is my theme and I think I pulled it off. I still have a couple of more DIYs that I plan on doing on my channel, but for the most part it is done and I'm ready to share it with you guys. And so how this tour is going to work is I have labeled everything in sections of the house that I'm going to be sharing and those timestamps can also be found down below. If you see something during the tour and you need to go back and reference it, it's a lot faster to do it that way than trying to go back and rewind or scroll rewind. <laughs> um, but how I'm going to be doing it is I'm going to be sharing what the, that section looks like with the lights off first and at night so you can see all the cool effects of the candles and everything. And then I'm going to be sharing what the same section looks like during the day and doing a talk through and kind of explanation of where I got things or how I made them by um, leaving links to my DIYs up here or um, just talking about how I did things in general. And lastly, if you do like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be a part of my YouTube family, I would love to have you. You can subscribe at any time by clicking this little subscribe button down below. And I hope you guys enjoy this tour. Thank you so much for watching. So here we go. Right here when you walk in, I decorate this for holidays and for seasons. Um, main focal point of the room and it is just something that I decorate for every season. I have my little distressed um, buffet table or whatever this is called um, that I distressed a long time ago and I always decorate it and I decorate this mirror um, that I made. Uh, in a DIY that I did I think back in March. So on the left and the right hand side of that mirror I just have some um, tree branches that I spray painted. We had just trimmed our trees, our macadamia nut tree and um, I just took some of those dead branches and I spray painted them black and then put some Dollar Tree uh, lights around them and I really wanted these this color more it's like a dark more of a dark purple um, but they ran out you guys so I mixed I mixed both lights and I don't think it looks bad but um, over here I just have this little bird cage this was actually a bird cage from our wedding that we put cards in and I just went ahead and painted this it was clear a clear bird and I painted him black and then just some, added some black detail um, around the cage with my sponge. And then I took this little uh, bird skeleton from the Dollar Tree and I put him in there. I got this, uh, these leaf branches from Michael's during their great pumpkin sale. I got those for 40% off. And then right here I just have a little pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. I also got some um, fall floral at the at Michael's during that sale and I just spray painted those black as well. I have some Dollar Tree um, sparkly branches and then this right here I actually made with my Cricut back in July 
when I decided what um, theme I wanted to do. So I made that with my nephew on my Cricut. And then right here, I just have this um, male skull picture and I actually just printed this off from a free printable that I found on Pinterest. I will link that in the description box if you're interested in making it. And all I did for this to make it look a little bit older was I dyed the paper with some tea and then baked it for a few minutes to dry and give it kind of a crinkly look. Some more of that fall floral that I spray painted. And then I just went ahead and added a raven in the branches on top of one of those flowers. And then over here, I just have some potion bottles um, or an apothecary bottles. Um, this I actually got from a yard sale a while back with some old vintage bottles that are right here. And then this spells potion magic stack I got from Walmart years ago. And so yeah, I really love how this turned out. And then this sign right here that says bad to the bone came from the 99 cents only store. So yeah, I think it turned out really cute. And then I did add another little raven right there in my snake plant. <laughs> my husband um, cut off the legs to try to hot glue them to the branches and it didn't work. So um, they're kind of just hanging out. And then right here, is my probably my favorite part of the decor and that is this underwood vintage typewriter and i went ahead and printed out the um the raven and i coffee not coffee dyed this i tea dyed this and then put it in the typewriter to make it look like um poe was here himself and then I just put a little rat from the Dollar Tree to hang out with him while he writes um, the Raven. And I actually got this recently at a swap meet for $20. And I'm not sure which model or year it is. I've been trying to find um, the marks on it and I can't. But I think I scored with this, only paying $20 because it is in very... Um, good condition, but I don't really know a lot about typewriters. Um, and then right here, I just have a candle from the Dollar Tree. And down here, I just have some vintage books, as well as this little um, hand tea light holder that I picked up from Walmart, I believe, years ago. And this little stand right here, I picked up at a yard sale for $10. And I just love how vintage it looks. And it was the perfect size to put right here on this wall. And up here, above the typewriter, I just have a piece of creepy cloth from the Dollar Tree, as well as some sparkly bats. And then I also put the sparkly bats up here. dining room. I just have my raven as the centerpiece on the skull and I actually um, I think I got this skull from Walmart a few years ago and I recently picked up him at Michael's I believe for seven dollars um, when they when they were having the great pumpkin sale and then I just hot glued him on the top of the skull and then tied a little uh, key on a string and then hot glued him or hot glued the string to his beak and then the main star of the show which is Poe I have his book of poems right there on the table and then pretty much everything else is from Dollar Tree um, or actually this the uh, this is actually a round tablecloth with a spider 
uh, spiders and bats kind of lace and I picked that up from the 99 cents only store and then on top of that I kind of layered this creepy cloth as a runner then for the place settings I have a um, Dollar Tree mat it's that really pretty kind of silver and black fabric and then I just have a charger plate that I've painted over and over again for different table settings and then a white plate with a spider web doily that I believe I got in a 15 pack from Walmart and then I have a Dollar Tree bread plate off to the side I also got this pumpkin and these cute little gothic tea light holders from the Dollar Tree as well as this little sign that says trick or treat and these cute little skeleton goblets. Then right here I just have um, some more of those sparkly branches from the Dollar Tree and these are um, actually I typed up the uh, the Raven, his poem, The Raven, or his short story, and I put it in this little um, glass holder. <laughs> what do you call this? This vase. And I just thought it was cute. And these I also tea dyed the paper to make it look old. So yeah. And then I also um, forgot to mention I got these little skull um, felt faces from the Dollar Tree as well. Here I just have this banner that I made with my Cricut that says Nevermore and I actually again printed out that um, the Raven and I coffee dyed or tea dyed some paper and then I kind of layered that on top of the banner. And so now to the kitchen, I have this beware sign from the Dollar Tree along with a candle stick also from the Dollar Tree and this little skeleton candle holder from the Dollar Tree and I used those doilies again. I use the doilies to just put little cute things on top. So right here I have this little pumpkin and I have little Halloween pretzels in there for the kids until it gets closer. We did have candy in here and um, I've been eating too much candy so I thought maybe I'll put pretzels in there. The kids have been doing good, me not so much. Um, so I have that right there. Over here we kind of just have our family calendar um, and I put some of those window clings um, around to kind of decorate the calendar. Right here is just my little coffee bar, coffee station area. I have some fall mugs, Halloween mug right there. And then right here is another one of those little spiderweb doilies. And then on top of it, I just have this little coffin box from the Dollar Tree. And it is filled with some different teas that I have. And then right here, I have some pumpkin spice cookie straws from Starbucks um, and I hope that they have like peppermint cookie straws during Christmas because I'm going to be picking some of those up and then right here I just have this eat drink and be scary sign from the Dollar Tree as well as this little chocolate mocha coffee candle and this little shaker full of cinnamon that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. Over here on top of my oven, I just have this Happy Halloween sign and my little pumpkin pie uh, recipe tea towel. Here I just have my um, pot holders from the Dollar Tree. I did buy the oven mitt. I don't know where it went though, but I'd love to find it because usually I put that 
um, right here and then I put my um, pot holders up here right here I have this sign also from the Dollar Tree that says Roadkill Tavern and I just think it's perfect by to go by the stove because I mean you have front grill deer turtleneck turtle track burger um, rat poison potion and then over here in the corner I just have some lights and then this really cute um, poison bottle and I did not make that that is a Dollar Tree bottle but I actually found this at a swap meet and somebody had the same idea as me already and had already done it for me and so I picked that already done um, I picked this up already done for 25 cents and then I just have another cute little um, potion bottle from the 98 cent store and then up here above my sink, I just have this cute little sign that says witch on duty. And then on the back it says zero to witch in just three seconds. And I picked this up from a um, farmer's market um, a long time ago. And then I of course have my Bath and Body Works pumpkin apple hand wash right here. And that's it for the kitchen. here in the living room I found this Raven Lantern um, from the 99 cent store and I just have a stack a little stack of books I have the book of witches and the book of wizardology and I thought they were perfect for the month of October to kind of just hang out on the coffee table and um, be a I guess an interest if anyone wants to um, read them and look at them I got those from the Goodwill and then over here on my sofa I have this um, pillow or throw pillow that I picked up from Michaels as well as this one and I love the image on it the curiosity shop rare objects and oddities all things strange and exotic I love it I love the raven I love the skull and if you couldn't um, tell a lot I have a lot of skulls in my decor as well as a lot of black and white theme I didn't want to add a lot of color into my decor I thought black and white was perfect and then over here on my um, entertainment center I just have this Halloween sign that I picked up from Walmart years ago. This Nevermore um, sign that I made with my Cricut. I will go ahead and leave the link for that down below, as well as uh, up in the right hand corner. And then I just have some Halloween tinsel that I, I don't re really remember where I got that from. And then I have another rat, a skull, and a little pumpkin. And then down in front of the entertainment center, I have my little skull topiaries that I made from all from the Dollar Tree. And I made a video on that. I will link that as well for you guys in the description box if you're interested in how I made those. Up here on our mess of a little kind of coat rack shelf, coat purse hat rack, um, I just have this Hocus Pocus sign. Uh, that I got last year. I forget where I got that, but um, I love it. It's super cute. And then I just have my little Dollar Tree candle that I kind of quickly DIY'd as well as a skull and a, and a couple more pumpkins. Right here behind the love seat, I have like a little sofa table and I just have this um, Dollar Tree uh, DIY that I have not finished actually and um, it just has a spider a little frog and a little potion bottle I plan on adding more stuff to this later over here I have um, thing and he is just a little candle holder and then I also have some Dollar Tree little book boxes 
on here as well as some bottles that I do plan on um, making some little labels for later on. And then this table runner came from the 99 cent store. And then this little trinket tray, I believe, came from Walmart a few years ago. And then in here, I just have some potpourri and some extra skulls.